everybody and welcome back to another mumbo graph video today is episode number 23 and we are starting today's episode off in the redstone testing world uh, here is the sugarcane farm that we built last time as well as the one that we were going to do but he's broke he's very broke um, yeah that's that this is today pumpkin farming everybody's favorite because you can't have jack-o'-lanterns without pumpkins. Um, so, I was playing around last night, and I thought this could be an interesting concept right here. The idea was, what we would do is come around here, we would power this piston, they'd all fly off into the distance, that piston would unpower, and then this one, sadly, does nothing. Um, this can't push those blocks back as they are now stuck to this block and the pushing power of that isn't enough to override this and we are getting dark so let's just see if I remember how to do this yes excellent uh, don't usually play with commands um, but yeah anyway this sadly is a flawed concept Ooh. and uh, yeah we won't be building that and um, Sadly, my brain wasn't particularly working last night to, you know, mess around with it too much and come up with anything else. Uh, but I did find this, which is one of Mumbo Jumbo's, um, and it's it's it, it's kind of exactly what I wanted, um, but slightly different. This is this is the same kind of concept uh, as that, just it works. <laughs> um, so basically what happens is uh, you have an input going into here uh, which I believe turns off these torches which means that these pistons will retract. Um, at the same time um, the signal is pushed up onto this sticky piston which will push the slime blocks forward breaking all of the pumpkins throwing them against the wall into the chest and blah 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 uh, and then when the button unpowers this all goes back to this state which is pistons extended so it'll push the dirt blocks back out ready for more pumpkins to grow on top of it and everything is fine and dandy so let's just have a little test fire there we go, you saw it there, that piston extended, these retracted, and then they swapped back. Um, everything went into here, 10 pumpkins, that's the second time I've fired it. Um, but, here's the thing, I've already built it. <laughs> I've already built it on the server. Um, I did have a load of footage recorded of it, well not a load, but you know, enough. Uh, the whole thing is completed and it's it's sitting there right now. I lost footage when my computer crashed, um, which is really annoying because I hadn't saved it because I'm an idiot. Um, so I thought what I'd do is I'd bring you in here and I'd show you the concept of everything and then we'd just pop over and see what I had built. Um, and then we'd have a little wander around and a little chat about what's going to be going on in the rest of the room. Um, I also do want to build another one of these modules um, on there. I want a few more spaces for pumpkins and I'm also going to put a couple of melons in it as well. I uh, don't really use melons that much but um, they're quite good for potions I believe. Um, like if we found, if we managed to find a zombie spawner or something nearby then you can kill things instantly with I think that's a potion of health. Potion of instant health, I think, kills them. Not entirely sure. I'm working off a very shoddy memory. Let's fire this off again, because this is always fun. Whee! Bye-bye, sugar cane. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to hop over onto the server now and kind of see what's been going on, um, what the drops are from the farms that we built in the last episode. We'll check up on the chicken cooker, everything like that, and then we'll, we'll, we'll just have a little wander and a little chat. How's about that? Um, I will catch you guys over there in a second. Bye-bye. -bye. Okay, everybody, here we are, back on the server, back in the farming room, and I figure the first thing we should do is check the drops. Nice, nice, nearly five stacks there. Um, went AFK for a little bit last night, but not a huge amount, so I expect more drops the more I'm on, naturally. 
Nice bit of cactus there. Already more cactus than I will ever need, ever. Uh, this has been running for bleh, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. That and some seeds. Lovely. Um, but yeah, this farm is connected up to the Quick Pulse. Thought I saw a skeleton. <laughs> the Quick Pulse from over here. Um, so it just runs off this line and travels all the way down here. Uh, gets out of the way of this. Uh, what I might do is I might actually diddle about with this so that we can put a nice big delay on it. Hmm, huh, that might work. And then we could actually... I think we could actually run the redstone line over to the other side as well. But we could actually take it down, couldn't we? We could take this redstone line down here and in and go all the way along. Yes, because at the moment, like that side is completely on. And there's just water in there, so there's nothing spawning in there. Huh. This might be a plan. I like it. I like it. Uh yeah, we'll get around to that in the future, because that's that's not a terrible idea. Then we can have everything fire off at once. <laughs> we'll have half a minute of frame drops and lag and everything like that and then everything will be back to normal. Oh good, we've got two pumpkins here. That's exciting, I like that. Um, oh, oh, well, that was nearly me done for. That was nearly me flung into that glass there. Um, now we do actually have, I believe, all the materials needed to build another one of these. So... Let's do it. Uh, that's three, four, and five. And then what we do is we go with our... Then what we do is we fall down here. Yeah, that is very important, that bit. Um, if you don't do that, then the entire farm won't work. Um, and you'll just you'll just cry yourself to sleep. Um, that, that's how that works. Uh, right, and then... Oh, is that going to be a bit close for that? No, it's not, because I believe that is... Yeah, that is flush with that. So we should just be able to drag that line along the top of that. Right, and then one, two, three... No. One more. Thank you. Where have they gone? They've gone down there, so now I have to go over here. Oh. Thank you very much. That is that... Right, and then do I have I do I have enough polished andesite and diorite and everything. Uh torches. I have torches. So as you'll see, when you put that on, that extends. There we go. Da, 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 da. And slabs. Do I have slabs? I have some slabs. This is all going very well for something that I'm doing. Put that there and then. Then we can run, uh, I think we can put another block there, remove that torch quickly, and then flip that along there. And then I believe that's all the redstone mechanism-y stuff done. Uh, let's just make sure that this is lit up a little bit. Because we do have mobs spawning on top of these bits because I haven't lit them up because I'm not clever. Uh, don't really want that. That's going to go in there. Brilliant. Uh, right, so that is all of that. What I then need to do is... I have one hopper. One hopper is not enough. Let's go and get some hoopity hoppity pops. Pop, 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 pop. Crafted up over a full stack last episode. And I'm down to one, I believe. Unless I have any... I do not. None in my chest. Uh, let's take that out. And we're going to be needing some wood ting. So let's take that. Uh, I'm just going to chuck you on the ground because I don't want you anymore. Over here. Boop, boop. And doop. And doop. Thank you. And then boop. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> oh, it's it's going to be enough hoppers. That's fine. And then we've got some chests left over. That's that's all right. Um, bu -bu 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 glass. That 
is an issue. Do I have no nope, none in there? None in there. Uh, nope, wouldn't be in there anyway. Nope. I have some pains. I have some black stuff. Can I re dye? Can I re dye glass? Is that a thing? Something tells me it's not. It is not. Um, oh well. Uh, I'm sure black will be fine. It's all going to be covered up anyway, so it don't really matter none. Let's just hop through here. Ooh, a little bit of banding there. Da -da -da -da. Run. Um, so I think let's actually place these hoppers going straight into there. One, two, three, four, and five. So that is that. And then... Let's get our black glass out, and then we can two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And if we run up here, oh, there's a lot of running involved in this game, isn't there? That, 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 and that. So that is now all enclosed. We can build that up. That can go there. Um, I will eventually put furnaces or obsidian or something in these bits just to make sure that nothing flies out the side. Uh, then get our little bucket of water, and that's got to run down that way. All items will go into there, which will then go into the chest, which is all very exciting. Then our lovely little iron hoe. Hoe it up. Doop. Then we've got some pumpkin seeds, so we're going to put a couple of mel we're going to put a couple of melons in here as well, so we will skip Huh. Melons. Do I have any melons? Um maybe? I really hope so. Maybe down in this one. Nope, but I will take a few more bones. Oh, I'm going to put those feathers in there. And stock up on enderpearls. Nope. Uh, yes! Yes, I do have some melons. Uh, that's going to be far too much. I probably just need one, don't I? One. And then put that there. Melon seeds. No, I need one more. Close. No cigar. Uh, 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 and I've got a Nikon message center just popping up in the corner there. Isn't that very exciting? Thanks for ruining my video there. Let's just get rid of that, shall we? Doodle bye. Uh, that's the one bad thing with using a. Um, it's a screen recorder as opposed to a window recorder. Um, so I'm currently playing this game with. A, a full screen. Uh, if I move, um, if I move off of this screen, then you'll see everything else. So you'll see my desktop, whatever, whatever it is that um, is on my screen will come out in the video. That's good. Didn't even need more bone meal. Uh, right, that's that farm done. Um, so occasionally I do get little pop-ups like that, and usually I edit them out because they're usually a half a minute or so into recording. And that looks terrible, but it's all going to be glass. It's all going to be covered up eventually, anyway. Right, I'm going to make a quick cut here. I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I'm going to see what the happy hap is. Oh, what we do need to do quickly. Um, let's just run this. Oh, it's already done. Oh, okay. No, I don't need to do anything else. Right. Right, sorry about that odd little cut there. Somebody was shouting at me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is all now linked up. Um, I'm going to I'm going to AFK for a little bit and just see kind of what the production is. It's not going to be incredible, but I'm not going to need a huge amount of jack o' lanterns or anything like that. Especially not now that we've got magma blocks in the game. Um, but it will be useful for pimping out the outside of the base, etc. Um, so yeah, let's let this run. And I'm going to secrete myself inside a small hole. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. 
lovely. Catch you guys later. Bye bye. Okie dokie, everybody. We are back. Um, I've been away for ooh, maybe an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Um, and I figured it was time to look at the drops again because I just like looking at the drops. Look at them all stacking up there beautifully. Excellent. Um, we did have a little problem with the melon and pumpkin farm over here. Up in here. Oh, oh, it's, oh, that's it firing, firing there. Um, the redstone signal wasn't actually getting to this point, um, so it wasn't transferring along to there. So I've just put in a repeater. That seems to have sorted out the problem. Uh, let's pop down. So because of that, we have only had half the farm working um, for this amount of time, but still, 27 pumpkins, that ain't bad. Um, I've also been out doing a little bit of gathering, and I figured it was time to talk about what we're going to do for decoration in this room, and I started some. Um, so anybody who uh, plays on the server or played on the last season of the server and came by and saw my base will know that it was in a desert and it was a big desert build and there was a desert there was a desert village um around like a central uh citadel cathedral kind of towery thing and that's what we're going to be doing here as well we're going to be building a village inside of here i hope <laughs> um it's just going to be um a facade like on this side at least there's not actually going to be any interiors or anything like that so it's kind of going to be like you're walking into a street and there's going to be buildings along here uh going to try and mix it up with different styles and everything like that but it is just going to be the fronts of them over on this side we will be building some more buildings um but they will house farms that aren't necessarily um fully automatic these ones they take absolutely no player input from now on like I don't have to do a thing um, that grows up it gets harvested it you know that's it whereas like things like wheat farms um, potato farms carrot farms beetroot farms all that kind of thing they need player input um, and so those kind of things will be going down this side we'll chuck in a cocoa bean farm you know for fun um, things like that uh, there is also going to be probably over in this kind of area here, as long as I can fit it behind that redstone, there is going to be an elevator building. And here will be the area where we walk in and we get an elevator to a floor. I'm going to search around and see if there is a tileable um, version of the translocator elevator because then we can just have them all in a row, we can have them labelled, like we can go up to any floor we want and obviously the reason that we want it towards the back is because it got, it's got the most height. Um, but that's the idea for this room. Um, I mean I've got an awful lot of gathering still to do, I know I do. Um, can I? No I can't. Um, but yeah, um, I figured I'd start putting the floor in. Uh, so we're going to texturize the sandstone with just some normal sand, and I'm going to go with, uh, ooh, come on words, do your thing, some birchwood planks, and probably some coarse dirt, and possibly some of our good old friend, the path block. But I'm not entirely sure because you need it quite wide for it to start going light. Um, but yeah, we will we'll give it a go. We will see what happens. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of gathering and stuff right now. I'm going to get some birch wood, etc. And I will bring you back in when I've done a little bit of work here. Okay, guys, I will catch you in a bit. Bye, bye. Okay then guys, I'm not going to lie to you, this episode has been hell to record. <laughs> just jumped on to do some editing, um, was just going to go AFK for a bit, and um, yeah, the last 10 minutes or so that I'd recorded had absolutely no audio whatsoever, I have no idea why, 
I didn't change my settings, I didn't unplug my microphone, I didn't even touch the microphone. I just don't know what happened. So I've done a little test record, um, everything seems to be working fine. So I'm, I'm really not sure what it was, but it does mean that I've done a load of stuff and you won't have seen any progress. But here we go. This is what I've done. Um, I've extended the kind of streak going out here. Um, I don't know how much of a fan I am of the coarse dirt because it's such a shock against all the other light colours. I'm not sure whether it's going to work. Um, might swap the birch out for spruce and see what that does. That means that we can then use spruce as accents in here. Um, I tell you what, actually, let's hop through here. I believe I have some. I believe I have a chunk error. Um, yes, I do. Little spruce, little little tiny weeny spruce trees here that I can cut down. Let's go for a. Let's go for this one. Let's just spiral up. Grab a little bit of spruce, and then we will just see. I'll do thirteen. We'll just see what this kind of looks like, and we'll change some of the things around just so and I cannot get back up there. Now I can. Uh, let's, what's that? Let's say it was that. That'll do. Um, crafting bench over here. Lovely. Let's change all of those out and we will we'll do a few stairs so that we can change that out and then we will move the rest out and swap the planks over just so that we can kind of see what this is going to look like. So let's get that away, that away, that away. Do some of this, just see what it looks like. Uh, d d no, that is that is not where I wanted that. Let's get rid of you as well. Put you there, that is everything there, I believe. Right, so let's do this, Oop. and then Oop. that there, and then that there, and then we can get rid of these as well. Uh, ignore the coarse dirt here. Um, eventually what will happen is we will kind of bring this back a little bit and put some coal blocks in like so that it, it just or even do you know what even possibly a door a spruce door maybe <laughs> let's have a little look what does this well, the spruce door doesn't look bad let's come on, no that is the wrong side so we take these out I really need to repair my tools uh, let's put it there we can do that and that looks a little bit like a thing doesn't it Sort of nearly. What happens if we. Hmm. Well, that looks better, doesn't it? Let's just swap that out for one of these. That looks better. Yeah, I like that. We'll keep that. And that means that I've got access to everything in here without busting through some doors. Let's just quickly fill that. In. So otherwise I know I'm going to get well no, I probably won't get comments no one ever comments that's a lie some people do comment <laughs> and to those people I am very appreciative thank you very much makes me feel loved and wanted and needed but that is not why we are currently here we are currently here to look at the floor I don't like that either <laughs> uh, let's tear some of it out and we will put some of the birch back in and see what it looks like kind of mixed together that there that there that there pick you up and one more there that looks a bit more like it Knock some of those torches out briefly there we go I think we're getting somewhere with this now yeah yes um yeah, I'll be doing this 
in between episodes, I think, just kind of working on the floor and everything like that. Um, next episode, we'll be working on the facades of these buildings, uh, trying to make them look a bit prettier. So, for example, up here, we can run a little balcony along there and then maybe bring the roof out a little bit more, I think, just so that you get that kind of overhanging presence in the room. Um, over here I've kind of marked out where we're going to have a couple more place, a couple more buildings. Uh, so one here, I believe that, yes, from here to here is another one, and then we're going to have a very little one here to here. And then over here, another large one to cap off the end there. Going to make that slightly uneven, just so that not everything is the same all the way around, and we can have a we can have a nice balcony kind of receding back almost all the way up to that glass frontage. 37, not bad. No melons yet. No melons. Wondering whether I'm going to have to swap one side out completely for melons to actually get anything. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the end of today's episode. That's the base of a torch. Sorry. Um, that is the end of today's episode. Uh, as I say, it has been um, a difficult one to record, so it's going to go a bit short. Uh, but I just want to say thank you very... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. There is one more thing that I do need to talk about. Uh, that is subscriber armor over here in the kind of subscriber room that we have going on. Um, as those of you who have been watching for a while know... Um, all of my subscribers, how do I, I just want your, no, I need an open hand. I know this, I know how to do this, I know how to, there we go. So this is Lord Rip1. Um, he is a subscriber and therefore he gets his own set of armour. We have Xylo Gaming, we have got Gary Stevens, we have got Maximilian Schumacher, we have got Josiah Schwire, I think that's how that's pronounced. Uh, IHS, all of them are named. All of the chess plates are named. Um, and subscriber count's been going up and down a little bit recently. I've been trying to keep track of it. Um, and I think it's settled down now. So hopefully next episode we'll get round to, I believe, filling up these last three armor stands with new names, which will be this room complete and I will need to find somewhere else to put people which I didn't really count on so I don't know um, but anyway yes in case you're wondering where your chest plate was it's it is coming I promise I just need to wait for things to settle down but now it is the end of the video and I just want to say thank you very much for watching uh, if you have enjoyed the video then please feel free to leave a like if you don't want to miss the rest of the series then hit that subscribe button and remember to tell your mother about all the wonderful work we're doing over here. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you next episode. Bye-bye.